Thanks for joining. In this video, we're going to make a custom icon to go with our custom FileMaker app. Welcome to Productive Computing. I'm Paul Fisher. So the first thing we're going to do is locate an image on the internet and then resize it with tools that came with our operating system and then set it as our app icon in FileMaker. Then we're going to talk about Google Image Search and how we can use that to help us find better images. And we're going to talk about Creative Commons licensing. And then I'm going to use a Macintosh application to turn a photograph into an icon with a transparent background. Because of the holidays, I'm thinking Home Alone, right? Macaulay Culkin making his face. And obviously this is a copyrighted image, so I'm not going to do this for anything professional. This is just something for me for fun at home, and I want to spend as little time on it as possible. One of the things I can do is add PNG in here, and if somebody else has already made a PNG with transparent background, uploaded it, it'll be available to me. And it, it looks like I've scored right here, because it's already got the black border. It's one of those things that makes it nice for an icon. Pay real close attention to what you actually click for download because often these will be misleading. Um, but I'm going to give this a shot. It wants to know if I'm a robot. That makes sense. And now I've got here and it ends in PNG, so this is probably uh, what it is that I'm looking for. I'm just going to open this with preview. So if we go to the Claris help page and we look for setting file options, we can scroll down to select an icon for the current file. And it says it needs to be a PNG or a JPEG. And for best results, use 288 by 288 pixels. If you're on a Mac, this is already open in Preview, and Preview can resize images. If you click on your markup toolbar, there is an icon down here called Adjust Size. And if we click on that, we can select pixels from this list. Let's make sure it's at 72. DPI, because it's constrained, it will automatically resize the height to go with it. Now we have an icon that is at the recommended size. We go to File, Export. We're just going to call this Home Alone icon. Me. We're going to make sure it's a PNG. I'm going to hit Save. And let's go back into our FileMaker Pro file. And we're going to go to File, File Options. We're going to go into our icon to custom and there is our exported image and we see that we have the three different sizes we want to select scale to fit and then we hit OK when we go to file recents show recents so we see here that our icon showed up in our recents and if we go and we add that to our favorites we'll see it's there personally I tend to use fun icons on sandbox projects or things I'm experimenting with because I don't really enjoy having a window full of the standard icon Putting your company logo on your company database is a great use of the custom icon. And if you sell a product or you have a vertical solution like our core CRM Pro, it really needs a custom icon. These icons also appear in your My Apps window when someone clicks on a host, as well as in the Launch Center for FileMaker Go and FileMaker WebDirect. It's worth noting that file options only changes how FileMaker sees it. The file of the database will still retain a default icon when viewed through the operating system. There is a tools option in Google and I can go to usage rights and I can say only show me what is covered by Creative Commons. But what is Creative Commons? Let's take a quick look at that. So creativecommons.org is where you can go to learn about these licenses. And you have various licenses in here, and that's important to become familiar with these. Sometimes you simply need to give credit to the creator. Other times it's perfectly fine to use on anything except for commercial. Then there's no derivatives or adaptions, which means you have to use it exactly as it's provided. This is making your life easier, so I recommend you get acquainted with it. Let's talk about the scenario when you're out on the web and you find exactly what you're looking for, but you know what? It's not a transparent background. So this guy's not a bad example. We've got a pretty simplified background. This should be pretty easy to work with. We're going to go and we're going to grab this. Now this is from Wikimedia Commons. So we'll look at the licensing here quick, and it says it is Creative Commons. That's how Google knows it's okay to use. We can share and we can remix. They do want attribution, so basically just provide a link to this 
somewhere on a layout in your like get info section and you should be good to go and I'm going to save image as so if all we care about is having the image I'm holding down the shift key and that's going to make this square so I can go to edit copy then I go to file and I say new from clipboard now if I'm happy with this again I could just click here I could click my image resize I could export this and that could be our icon what if what we really want is to have this house with no background so here I am in the app store and I've looked up Pixelmator and you have two options you have classic and you have pro either one of these are going to satisfy your needs as a FileMaker developer there are many free options out there, but I'm just going to share with you what I use. So let's jump into Pixelmator. We're going to file open. We're going to jump into this file that we downloaded. I'm going to select the quick selection tool. Um, this is a bit easier than how things used to be in the old days. Um, this is kind of smart. So if I hold down the shift key, it's going to keep appending everything I get here. If you do find yourself with it being too similar to your background, you can come up here and move your diameter and it will give you more refinement. This is meant to be a very quick icon, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Oh, notice I did miss a spot right here. Let's go into Edit Copy. And then now that we've got what we need, let's get rid of this. I'm not going to bother to save it. And then we're going to go to File, New. So we'll do 288, 288 with 72 DPI because that's screen resolution. Okay, edit, paste. Now I've got an image that's really big. Let's get the magnifying glass. I'm going to push the option key that's going to switch me back and forth. And that's going to shrink it down. Now if I click my selection tool, these dots are going to show me how big this is. If I just scale it down, it will keep it in proper dimensions for me. And then we double click inside the box. Let's get rid of the background layer, and now we have ourselves a viable FileMaker icon at 288 pixels square. We need to go to File Export, and we're going to select PNG, we're going to go to Next, and we're going to select Export. I hope that puts you well on your way. Remember, liking a video is a great way to let us know we're making content that you find useful, and be sure to use those comments. It's great feedback, and if you've got an idea or you get stumped, let us know. We'll see what we can do. Until next time.